or something. It's real. Uh. Rolling down the street in it. Just off the Orange Freeway, we're here live from Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight it's the first of four between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Dylan Bundy, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. Brett Phillips no. stands in as he looks at ball one no. here. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a homestand. You played well on the road. You got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. Got a second. The third baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now here's the first offering. And that's in there for strike one. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now 51 degrees at first pitch. Bases are empty one man out. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. Ah. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will That's usually good. give you an answer. So he racks up the swinging as the second out of the opening frame to the plate now Austin Meadows as yeah. he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one his past history with Dylan Bundy batting 500 four for eight uh, no plate discipline that oh, time he's in the hole now 0 and 2 down 0 2 maybe simplify the game plan right here get on the heater even though he has five weapons to go to swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning down in order go the Rays and now the Angels get their first opportunity in this one no score Brendan McKay gets the ball for the Rays in this one what do we need to know here Danny well one thing to look out for him Matt is if he can avoid the big inning it's not that big of a deal to give up a run here or there, but sometimes he can be prone to giving up three or four in an and inning, and that kind of derails the whole start the when that happens. Reason. Limit the damage, and he'll be just fine. He takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four of five prior to that. Quick turnaround after a short little homestand, Matty. Four and two, though. They played well, taking four out of the six games they had to in front of the home crowd. They walk into this environment on the road today, looking to set the tone for this road trip. That's and this ball. one just misses off the corner. One, two. High in the air into shallow left center. Kiermaier on the run. He's there and records the first down. Batting second. Not shortstop. Close tag. He's late to you. Now one down with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. First offering. Ball one. One out, nobody on. Hit hard back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. 
That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. Set the table for the that monsters. Three, four, five. Three. Nice piece of hit. One. Wow. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Two-run shot that time for Mike Trout, number 11 for him on the season. And the Angels are now out to a 2-0 lead. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Anthony Rendon. That is cool. yeah, so oh, take a look at ball one. They'll come into this one with an average Don't way down at 235. Five homers and 14 driven in. That evens it up one and one. Pitch on the way. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats Play in the two, game. Two, two. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. Adama scoops it up. Throw on to first, two Ow. gone. That is good. Now to bat, Kurt Suzuki. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. And now one two taken ball. by Suzuki as he draws it even at 2 and 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And another foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Second inning coming up, and the Angels are out on top now, two to nothing. Into the box, Brandon Lau. His past history with Dylan Bundy, he's one for five. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ball. The 1-0. It's a fastball that misses. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first out. That is it. The right field. Randy. So bases are empty with one out now. And up next will be Randy Arena. Now the first pitch. No, that's the ball. Swing and a one miss ball. for strike one. one. Strike. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. And not a real good Play cut close. at that slider. Ball, he's behind strikes. one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch.
got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. Yeah. I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Standing in now, Willie Adamas. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. Ball. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Three ball and three. one. A three one count. Three tying one. run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Hit out towards second. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down two to nothing. And now for the Angels, Jared Walsh and is set to lead off the home half of the second. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood in it. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. And the off batter. And it looks now like they want some time to review that one. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play. Yeah, close play right there, no doubt. And we're going to have to take another look. And that's just tough to tell. We're going to have to see what they decide what to do with this one. And indeed, they will elect to challenge the call. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will take a look at all the available angles and get us an answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rays are challenging the previous play. Okay, one more look at it here. Is there enough evidence to overturn this call? I think there is. Looks to me like the ball beat him to first. I think this. Okay, umpires look ready, and off comes the headset, and he's out. So the original call is overturned, and it ends up being a well used challenge there. Upon video review, the call of safe at first base has been overturned, and the battle ruled out. Here's Justin Upton now. As the first no, pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll enter play here at an even 250, four home runs, and 15 RBIs. Yank on the ground down the line. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by in the base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, I love this angle. Looking right down the line. You can see that he generates his power from his lower half. Taking it down the line for a clean double. Great look there. Into the box, Brandon Marsh. As it's grounded sharply to first. Scooped up, and he'll take this from the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So a man at third here with two guns. And the exciting middle infielder Franklin Barreto bats next. He's set and the pitch. He's not having his best outing in this one. I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one. And that's not the first time that's happened. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Two outs here with a runner at third. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Two, two. So two and two now. Two two pitches fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Three and two. The count is full to the Angels' DH. Ready? Now the payoff pitch. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, a diving stop. What a play. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this.
G-Man Choi the next to hit. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Ball one to start the at-bat. That's by him one for one. strike one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Fouled off. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Ball three. Down is full. Three balls, two strikes. Sent back up the middle. Iglesias is there. Throw to first in That's time, out. and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one down, no one aboard, and that'll bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch, and he lays off there. One and zero. Oh. One ball, no strike. Swung on and missed. One and one. And now pitch on the way. Little chopper back to the mound. And there are two Out. away now. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. His past history with Dylan Bundy. He's a 333 hitter. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike no one. Ball. One strike. Outside no. for a ball, one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this pitch runs in one and ball. hits him, but two not strike. before he swings through it. Not sure what he was thinking about that time, but it's one and two now. Fastball ball, well no. outside. We just saw a fastball right balls, there. I would strike. not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Down in order go the Rays. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and, and that'll bring in the second four. baseman, David second Fletcher. Baseman. David. And this pitch is right down the middle, Hold strike on. one. Ball, Just off oh. the outside that time, laid off for a ball. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, and he sat on the curveball there and yanks this one out to left. This ball has plenty of carry to it, and it's going to clear the wall by plenty. A home run. Solo shot here to left. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Angels have taken a 3 to nothing lead. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. The batter number four. He'll Short take a look at the pitch too low. Okay. It's ball one. Iglesias. Hit out towards second. Well on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Ready to take his hacks again. Mike Trout lasted a two-run homer in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he'll That's take a look at ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Base hit into right center. 
Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. That's a strike to throw down. And skips in as he steals the bag easily. Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. He's got good pop to play, and he's shown he's not afraid to use his wheels on the bases. He, to your point, Dan, no, he did go deep ball. earlier, and now the stolen base here, so he's really having an impact on this game. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Weak rounder back to the mound. In time to first, Out. and there are two away. So Down next to hit Cut is Kurt Suzuki. Kurt. Runner in scoring position Kurt. with Suzuki. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fight. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And to score is the runner from third. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track. And he cruises into second. So now to the plate, Jared Walsh, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Gotta love a night at the ballpark. These fans certainly are. Back to Angel Stadium right after this. Brett Phillips will bat next. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Phillips, a 25-year-old, he was taken in the sixth round during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Good time now to check out the Angels Road to the Show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves of late. Blake now, Yandy Diaz. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, Ball. he's going to have a pretty good night. Count is one, one two. and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. A laser that time, but it'll wind up with nothing to show for it. Two away now. So two out, nobody on. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Swing and a liner. And the Rays are in the hit column. 
boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown ends, you get two quick outs, oh, D-roll, then you give up a two-out base hit to extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an A-B, no chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at-bat, every plate appearance. Nice job, maybe a little two-out lightning start. First pitch of the A-B now. Brandon Lau Outside, is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Hey, a two-out single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly yeah. on the second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for Tampa. They trail here four to nothing. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Striding in is Justin Upton. And one for go. one Good as he goal. reached base with a double no his first here. time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The 0-1 is a curveball high, 1-1. One and one. Really high curveball right there, struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball, figuring out and finding that release point. Ball. And this is low, ball two, two and one. one hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Ah. Good breaking ball, and it's in there, two and two now. Playing two. Hey, that's two. just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. Oh, yeah. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Next to stand in is Brandon Marsh. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Strike one to start the at-bat. Four runs, six hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Ball, Ball and a strike. And a curveball's by him that time as he One falls behind now. Strikes. One and two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. When you dive into the numbers in this start, it's hard to believe that this guy's pitching as poorly as he has. Over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes, but a lot of those have been right down the middle, right into the hitting zone. And he watches a cold third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. Angels go down one, two, three, but they're in front four to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, thanks, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And up next will be Randy Arena. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for one ball one. Hit high and deep out to left field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. 
the back. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. In now, Willie Adamas. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Adamas brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Lying to the right side, but taken in over at first for the second out, as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Next, it'll be G Man Choi. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good oh, about two. his fastball. Two back to back behind 0 and 2 now. And a change up ball. here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. One ball no runs, strikes. just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot down the line in right. Sixth home run on the season for him. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Box now, Francisco Mejia. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Surprising Michael Walker will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Michael Walker. Bottom of the inning now. And set to go is the second baseman, David Fletcher. First offering. Fletcher. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Kiermaier is right there, one down. The batter number four. So his day is fully Short over. Stop. As you get a look Both at the batter. pitching line for the Rays starter, certainly that. not the night he wanted to have. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two ball. home runs. Jose Iglesias is one in ball. for the third no time strike. here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Two gone. Ready now is Mike Trout, and he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. Circle change, too low, ball one. And that one yanked just foul. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Count still at one and two. Two and two. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. And he fouls this one off. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. 
did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch on the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order but they lead it four to one. Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's. First pitch on its way. No. 1 0. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Here's a fly ball well hit. Racing back the right fielder to the track. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Rays draw closer. It's now a 4-2 ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Now Standing in now, Brett Phillips. Ah. He'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Fouled away. No outs, nobody on. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. Into the box. Yandy Diaz. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. One count. Here's the pitch. Push to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next for Tampa Bay. Striding forward now is the DH. Austin Meadows singled in his last at bat. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. There's ball one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't Play connect, one, so he two, finds two, himself yeah. down one and two now. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting ball. out of this inning without any further damage. Two, two balls two. and two strikes now. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit, so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. Next, it'll be Brandon Lau. No hits to this point. From the stretch. Ball. And that misses ball one. 
I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Angels four, the Rays two. So here is Anthony Rendon to lead things off for the Angels in inning number six. And boy, a high strike call there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other one away. So now into the box is Kurt Suzuki. His career line against Waka. He's 0 for 4. 2 1 and 0. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. A ball and a strike to count to Suzuki. Ball and two strikes to the Angels catcher. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Kurt Suzuki goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. To the plate now, Jared Walsh. And he'll take a changeup here for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Adamas picks it up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three, but they still lead this one four to two. Alex Claudio is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58. Alex. New inning set to get underway, and up next will be Randy Arroyo. Here it comes. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And this pitch is looked at for a ball, and that leaving the count of the Rays right fielder at one and one. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen, as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. The one one home. Now a ball pulled deep down the left field line, but it's going to be a foul ball. Ready on one and two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. On the move is Trout. He's there and records the first down. The bat. Stepping in next, Willie Adamas. Okay. In previous meetings with Alex Claudio, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. First pitch of the AB on its way. The 0 1. Liner towards second. Throw in time at first for route number two. So the next to bat will be G Man Choi. He's working on a one for two game so far. 
come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ah. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Ball one. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4 2 our score. One and two. One ball, two strikes. And he lays two off balls, it to even the count two and two. Slider with gone for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They trail it here. Four to two. Colin McHugh will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 31. Colin McHugh. Just an Upton the next to hit. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. No left fielder. And now the first pitch. Mm, clearly fooled there on the slider. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of walking around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. So now to the plate, Brandon Marsh. One and oh, the count. One out, nobody on. Lifted down the line and left. Heading after it is Phillips. He can't get to it. This one's down. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Franklin Barreto. In now, Franklin Barreto, as he Ooh. takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. Stepping in now, David Fletcher. One ball, no strikes to count. Marsh is off a of first with two away. No. Now a curveball misses inside. Hey, a curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. <laughs> Set and the two and one pitch. Ball three. Three balls. Jose Iglesias would be next. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit back toward the mound. That will conclude matters here in the seventh. Angels strand one as they can't add to their four to two lead. Tony Watson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now into the box, Francisco Mejia grounded out in his last at bat. And now the first pitch. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1 and 0. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location. And it was go. obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The next one two pitch. Again, he sends it out of play.
takes this the other way to right. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. It's the best competition in all the sport, the pitcher against the batter right there. He fouled off multiple pitches, refused to go down. Not only did he get a knock, but he ran some pitch total up, too. Into the box now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Yep. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's one for two in this one. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh. To two balls and two strikes now. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. High fly ball out to straightaway center. There to take it is Trout, and that's out number one. Up next so next to bat will be the Brett left. Phillips. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts yeah. for him to this point in the ballgame. First delivery to him. That's the ball. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. The 1 0 it is swung on and missed. Strike one. one. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch one, away two. as he went around for strike two. Here comes the one two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Rysel Iglesias enters the game in a safe situation, but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the standard three. At the plate now, Yandy Diaz, as he will take a look at a fastball in there. As that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Have to find a way to take a deep breath right here and regroup. I know the umpire missed one, but you can't allow the next couple of pitches to be dictated by one bat. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Ray's strand just the one. Still down by a count of four to two. Now to the And leading up for the Angels, the shortstop, Postman. He's late to the First pitch of the A.B. on its way. The fastball oh, here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball. One and one. And he'll come ball. back with one in the dirt as the count two moves one. to two and one now. Two and two now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the now inning. Next up is Mike Trout. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch on the way. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? 
Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes. Two away. So now the Angels cleanup batter, Anthony Rendon. He bounced out last time up. McHugh sets his sights. Here's the first pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kiermaier will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Angels are gone in order, but they still lead this one four to two. Ball set for the start of the inning and striding forward the designated hitter. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. It is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Fastball call, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the night as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Fouled off. Now here's a swing, and this is hit well down the line in right. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Here's Randy Arozarena. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. one ball, no hey, this strike. isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Ball. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Yeah. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. And yep. he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. Heading out towards shallow right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Rays down to their final out now. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like Whoa. tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. No. Hit the target, but this is low. Two, two and one. One strike. And this is swung on and missed. Two so ball. now they two find strike. themselves down to their final strike tonight. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You can almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty death. Got him. That's an out. Throw to first here is going to be in time as the Angels have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Halos jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Dylan Bundy notches his third win of the year. Brendan McKay was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Rysel Iglesias records four outs on his way to the save, his tenth. 
So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew on Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Angels.